Oh my goodness, there's two of them, and I'm getting sidetracked. Which one's which, y'all? <laughs> We're standing between two runways. You see that built up hill over there? That is a runway. You see that right there? That is a runway. And we are surrounded by fence. It's like we're in a prison, but we're actually outside of it. And they're keeping us out. Look at here. No trespassing. Airport authorized personnel only. Unauthorized personnel subject to prosecution. We're at the Atlanta airport. And we came to see Hart Cemetery. Hart Cemetery, it's a family cemetery. It began in 1860. And that is should be there. should be hung up right there. There's a wasp nest there, y'all, but I ain't even gonna panic. Cause there ain't nothing to panic about. It should have been hanging up. This should be hanging up up there, but it's not. It names and has the date of birth and the date of death. The airport built this whole thing so they wouldn't have to move the bodies or anything. Yeah, it's an old cemetery that they couldn't just, you know, we, we've seen the movie, y'all. We've all seen the movies. You don't, you don't, you don't just build on top of the cemetery <laughs> unless you just don't know it's there. So Tim gets to climb steps. Yep, I'm climbing steps. Because you can't have a cemetery without a step. This, they sure have built up around it to not make it. All the way around. Yeah, we're fenced. We're not allowed. It's not that we're being kept in. We're being kept out. And this, you know, did start in the 1860s. And, you know, you that date's 1933. And that was a baby. It's an infant heart. This is the Heart Cemetery. But look at these graves. That That's a marker right there that you just walked past. That rock. This is another baby because it's born and died in, well, born in 88, 1888, died in 1889. I, I love this. People constantly here, airplanes. Oh, yeah. Airplanes are everywhere. They're everywhere. And we're actually in this area because we've got to run over to that Atlanta airport in just a little while. Y'all, look at this. That's just a marker. There's nothing on that marker. Nothing on that marker. There's nothing on that one, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's supposed to be up there against a tree like that. That's the headstone. That's a pretty long grave right there. And that is the footstone. And I can't even, I can't even, I gotta get around it by going this way. And we are under this beautiful, magnificent magnolia tree. Cause I'm stepping on the magnolia cone. Y'all under here. Y'all hear them leaves crunching? Look at there. I always find this really interesting. Look at that. Trees just growed up all around that headstone, which I think had writing on it at one time, but it don't, you can't see it now. And there's three graves over here. There's another one and there's another one. And they're just headstones and footstones with no distinguishable marks on them. I don't think you can read any of them, basically, can you? Not really. It's very few you can actually see, and they all look alike. And y'all, this is just stones that people have hewn out and then they're all just about all of them have this they have a rock wall around them but even that there are names on them but you can't read them some of them are anyway I do see two modern headstones so that's just a marker That's true, and that's a new that's a new marker. It looks like this one died October seventeenth, eighteen seventeen. What is that? No, that's nineteen seventeen. I was gonna say if this, is it? yeah, 
It is. Okay. I was going to say, if it was 1817, it's before the cemetery was here. Oh, here's some, there's a couple over here that's new. We're, we're under another magnolia tree. There are three magnificent magnolia trees in this cemetery. By fairly recent, you mean in the last hundred years. Yeah. That's 1969. It's got a concrete block wall around it. And that was 1965 and 1969. Y'all, the magnolia tree's grabbing me, and I like to be grabbed. All right, then. This is an amazing place, in my opinion. I didn't know this was here, y'all. I mean, I don't know. You know, we, we wonder. You think about it. Who knows where a cemetery might be? We might be walking on cemeteries all the time. But y'all, this is right in the middle, literally, of the Atlanta airport. I stumbled upon this. Look at the Google map, like I do a lot of times. Please travel to the airport and stumble on this too. Cemetery and there's an article about it. That somebody wrote about it being in the middle of the airport. There is another one, and we are gonna go see if we can find it. Somebody is down here looking along with us, but y'all look at that. There you go. There is an airstrip on both sides of us. Okay, so we had a little bit of a time finding this one, but, uh, oh, Tammy's back there. <laughs> uh, this is, I believe, called Flat Rock Cemetery, and it's another one that's nestled between runways at an airport. And we're heading over here because there's some newer ones. And we're heading to the older part over here. Now, y'all on the Google map, it shows this right off of Sullivan Road. It's a little driveway off of Sullivan Road. But they have changed. You can see work going on all around us right now. This road that we come off of, the road that we come here on is not even a road now. Yeah, and, and it's, it's been changed so much. It was down here tearing this There's a wood in the world. Yeah, we had a hard time. We just happened to stumble on it. Found it out of the corner of our eye. Grave is sinking. It's a woman of the world. It was in loving memory of our sister. Now, in the article I read about these two cemeteries, they do point out that with all the vibration, with airplanes constantly going in and out, it's That's, causing some damage. That would, that would make a lot of sense. So, you, you can't see a lot of the dates. That's a 51 there. Yeah. There's a 94. That's 34. Uh -huh. Yeah, this one don't seem to be quite as old. That's 1907. There's your an airplane right there going on. looks like So yeah, that's fenced in area. And over here is a marker for it. Flat Rock Church Cemetery. Oldest grave dating 1877. 
There used to be a church here. It was a Flat Rock Baptist Church. 1875. And the airport moved the church. There used to be a church here. Near. Flat Rock Baptist Church. Back in 1875. The oldest grave is 1877. Okay, let me tell y'all the story. Airport moved to church. Y'all, when I was seven years old, I lived in Mountain View, Georgia, and it was in here somewhere. <laughs> and the airport bought the entire subdivision to Mountain View Elementary School. The airport bought the entire subdivision, tore down all the houses, moved us all out. Somehow. You look around at all this work that's going on, and another airport still moving people out of the way. Yeah, I saw the heart over there. This one instead of the other cemetery. Yeah. These two cemeteries are about. Uh, They're pretty four close. Miles, yeah. Four miles apart. I would say. Yeah, there y'all. Another one goes up. Coming in from lunch, I know. Anyway, this has been. This has been our adventure at Park Cemetery and Flat Rock Cemetery here in on Riverdale Road, College Park, Georgia, at Atlanta Airport. Please like, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we love y'all. You got it right this time. I did. I always get it right, except when I do it wrong on purpose. <laughs> There's more over there on that back lot. Those look pure. Well, I told you when we lived over here, we would be talking on the phone, and we would have to say, "Wait a minute, airplane's going over," and that happened about every ten minutes. Yeah. That was 1978. Now it's about every minute. <laughs>